Welcome to the ProStructures Concrete Modeling Learning Path. In this video, you'll learn how to place reinforcement columns and beams. First, open up the level display and leave just the PC columns and the PC beams levels active. With the view limited, we can start applying the reinforcement. Select the column reinforcement tool from rebar placement in the Home tab. First tab in the dialog window that pops up lets us specify the number of bars in each face of the column. Vertical reinforcing tab lets us specify the bar diameters and their exact placement in the column. Lap options tab contains settings for rebar laps. Ties tab lets us specify the zones of shear reinforcement and the exact shape of ties. Options tab lets us change the display style of rebar. And the assignment tab allows us to specify levels and descriptions that will be assigned to rebar once created. With all the options set as specified in the video, we can now select the concrete icon and apply the rebar to selected column. Now use the clone tool to copy the rebar to the remaining columns. With this done, you can hold right click in the model, select level off, and click on the column rebar as well as the column itself. This will leave only beams in the view window. Now you can proceed to select the beam reinforcing tool from the rebar placement and home tab. In the new window, beam info tab allows you to select the element for reinforcing. Beam defaults tab contains settings for all the reinforcement covers in the beam. Longitudinal reinforcing lets us set properties for main beam rebar and their location within beam section. Lap options tab contains settings for rebar laps. Stirrup tab allows to set different shear reinforcement zones in the beam and the shape and size of the stirrups. Assignment tab allows to specify levels and descriptions that will be assigned to rebar once created. With all the settings in place, you can now select the beam to add rebar. With first rebar in place, you can now clone it to the remaining beams. With all beams complete, you have now learned how to add rebar to columns and beams. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.